All month long, we are highlighting the remarkable women in our community, sharing their stories and the impact they've made on others. And tonight, we're highlighting our winner from 2021, Midland native Jennifer Dumeyer. And we caught up with Jennifer two years after her win to see how life has changed. It's no secret why Jennifer was chosen as a remarkable woman in the community. Her friends and family know she has a heart for giving. She's both a mother and a nurse navigator at the Breast Center in Midland. Jennifer says she found her calling later on in life after being inspired by her family. Dumeyer's daughter Bethany was born with a rare metabolic genetic disorder. Her condition was so rare there were only about 10 known cases in the entire world. Her daughter was also the person who nominated her for this award. Being, being noted to be a remarkable woman is such an honor and you get to feel so special and so pampered. There were gifts, there was dinner, there was, but you know the main thing was that I was nominated by my daughter. And so when you raise your children, you wonder sometimes, how did I do? What do they think about me? Do they look at me as a success or, you know, things like that. And so being nominated by my daughter was really incredible for me. Two years after winning the distinction, she's making advancements in her career and her personal life. I have a pretty exciting life before and after winning The Remarkable Woman. Um, I continue to be a navigator out here at the Breast Center. Um, our genetics program has um, taken off some since um, I won this award. And um, I continue to travel around the world doing medical missions. So I've gotten to visit some new countries since then. Um, since I won last time, I've been to El Salvador and to the Dominican and to Burundi, Africa this last summer. She hopes to continue that growth in the medical field, helping West Texas women every day. Well, I make it a habit to try to always be growing. There's always new things that we can experience, new places to go, new education to obtain. Um, since I had the Remarkable Woman Award, I have attended uh, City of Hope Genetic um, Intensive Genetic Cancer Risk Assessment Program and um, graduated from that. So that equips me to take care of my patients a lot better, especially the ones that have genetic mutations. Jennifer says every single day she meets remarkable women who all have their own stories. You know, I come in contact with remarkable women every single day of my life. Every woman really is remarkable in her own way. You know, some um, have special needs children like I do. Some give care to elderly patients. Some have um, spouses that they take care of. Some women are facing breast cancer. That's a lot of the women that I take care of. And so, you know, the way they fight their journey is quite remarkable. She has a message for the next Remarkable Woman winner, whomever it might be. And so I think to a, the Remarkable Woman for this next year, just knowing that you were special enough for someone to take the time to fill out that application and to um, see you as remarkable is, is uh, an incredible thing and something to really treasure and know that you truly are a remarkable woman.